Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Align Technology uh, info session. We will get started momentarily. I do see that number uh, quickly changing as far as our participants joining. Um, feel free to utilize the chat box. We'll, we'll kind of use that um, quite a bit through the session today just to kind of be able to get through everyone's questions and everyone's thoughts. Um, so uh, feel free to, you know, say hello via the, the chat and um, one of us will, will monitor and, you know, try to answer those questions, but also uh, make sure that we can provide you guys um, at the end with the information that I know you guys are here for. Um, so we will give it another 60 seconds and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, but please let us know in the, the chat um, what major you are, what year you are. We would love to do a quick poll just to um, kind of gauge who's in the room. And Austin, you can, um, I won't click the chat box since I'm sharing, but mm -hmm. definitely feel free to shout out any majors you see um, that are coming through that <clears throat> are reoccurring. Certainly. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the chat box the links to our various um, intern opportunities. They are in a bucket system. So simply applying online there will put you into the various different departments, finance, HR, whatever your interests are, you'll be able to note that during the application process. Those that are about to be in the chat. Uh, if you have any issues or any questions about that, please let me know. All right, awesome. So to be mindful and respectful of everyone's time, we're gonna go ahead and get started. My name is Letitia Powell and I have my uh, partner, Austin Cook on the call here and we are both, um, talent partners within early careers within Align Technology. Um, I may look familiar. I was on your campus a couple of weeks ago um, for your um, business internship fair and also virtually, I may have spoken to a couple of you guys for your STEM uh, career fair that you guys hosted um, not too long ago. So we wanted to put together an info session for you all to really kind of answer a lot of questions. I know um, some of the burning questions is, hey, my major is X, do you have a role for me? I'm interested in a summer internship or um, I may be getting ready to graduate and I am looking for a role. Is there a place for me at a line? Or some of the other questions I may have gotten is what exactly do you guys do? How does that fit into the, the bigger picture of the world? Does that make sense? And does that align with my um, career and personal goals? So um want to start off by sharing a, a quick video um, that talks a little bit about the company. Um, so it may answer some questions. You might see some uh, familiar products. You might hear and see some uh, familiar things. Um, so let's get right into it. A great smile can transform a person's life. At Align, we create technology that helps people have the confidence to take on whatever's next. Invisalign has really revolutionized the orthodontic industry because they have a completely digital way of doing orthodontics. It's convenient, non-invasive. It allows you to live the life that you want to live, and it's a much faster treatment than what Wires and Brackets offers. We leverage the power of technology to create great smiles and a brighter future for millions. By integrating digital imaging, 3D software, and shape engineering together with world-class mass customization and the world's largest 3D printing operation, Align transforms less than an Not sure why. ounce of high-tech polymer into a 21st century engineering marvel. Whether it's clear aligners, digital scanning, virtual treatment plans, or software apps that help patients visualize their new smile, our technology and processes deliver a better than braces patient experience and effective treatment outcomes. It all begins with a one minute scan. The iTero intraoral scanner replaces goopy physical impressions with a precise 3D digital scan. Using Align's proprietary software, our dental technicians use the scan to create a virtual treatment plan customized for each patient. Doctors can modify the treatment plan to meet their patient's specific needs, from crowding or gaps to deep bite or overbite. Pre-restorative Align
entertainment, and most everything in between. A series of unique shape engineered aligners are then manufactured using proprietary 3D printing technology. Built on a foundation of over 430 patents, Invisalign aligners use three unique smart technologies. Smart Track Aligner Material is designed for optimal control of tooth movements and on average enables faster treatment than braces. Smart Force Attachments and Features designed into the aligners deliver the precise forces when needed to achieve more predictable tooth movements. And Smart Stage Technology programming each tooth movement in a certain sequence at the right time to achieve optimal outcomes. After 20 years and more than $1 billion in revenue, Align is the undisputed leader in clear aligner therapy. All right. We're the only company in the world that has an orthodontic database of 5 million patients. And we use machine learning. We're going to go ahead and take it from there. Um, I think from a streaming perspective, it, we have uh, quite a few people on the line. And I think I'm able to uh, complete the video, but we're happy to share the link um, for you all. Um, in the chat box if you'd like to finish watching that video. But we are the company behind the smile. Um, I've met a ton of people that have actually used Invisalign or um, know people there in their families or friends, neighbors that have used Invisalign. So we are um, a familiar product. Um, however, there's so much that goes into that. And so I'm going to let Austin kind of walk us through some of the details um, that you might want to know as far as, you know, who we are. I think you saw in the video, we've been in business for over 20 years now. We've done over a um, billion dollars in revenue, but what does that ultimately break down into? Where are we located? Who are we? And what do we do? Um, I'm going to tag Austin in and um, I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. Awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, and thank everyone for joining me. I'll try to do as good of a job as our CEO, Joe Hogan, does on that video. Um, and that video is actually a little bit old, which is great because it allows me to say that instead of $1 billion in revenue in the last year, we're actually doing $4 billion in revenue per year. Uh, that video just being a few years old and how fast we move here means that uh, even though it's not that old, we've made great strides since it. Uh, we'll dive into some of that data, but like Letitia said, I'm Austin. Uh, I work with, um, you know, in, in talent acquisition here in Align specifically early in career. And, um, you know, transforming smiles and changing lives is something that's not just our slogan, but it's something we believe in here. So it, it really makes me excited to work for our company and bring these opportunities to you guys. Now, most people are maybe aware of Align technology, but certainly most people in America are aware of the Invisalign brand, which is fantastic. Shout out to our marketing team for achieving that household name recognition. Uh, some things that we do here at Align that people may not be as familiar with. Uh, of course, we have our aligners. We also have an intraoral scanner that video referenced it. If you went and got braces in maybe high school, uh, like I did, you may have gotten that big pink goop put in your mouth in order to make a mold. Uh, if so, I'm sorry for bringing back that PTSD. However, I promise it's going to be a thing of the past with our iTero scanner. So instead of the big goop and the nasty taste and all that great stuff, put the wand inside the patient's mouth a few minutes later, you're going to have a full three-dimensional rendering of their teeth. Of course, great for Invisalign because you can show them where they're going to be at in three months, six months. But if you're doing any dental work, crowns, veneers, implants, anything, um, this scanner is going to help you do that without that goop. And it's, it's, it's truly revolutionary. Uh, and then, of course, under that is our Exocam, uh, Exocad dental software. This is what allows us uh, sort of the digital platform that uh, connects everything from patients coming in, getting clean checked, uh, you know, being helped with our doctors to it being manufactured, um, and then ultimately um, any of the changes that need to be made within that. So we have our product, we have our scanner, and then we have the digital and uh, part that brings everything together. Like I said earlier, four billion in revenue just in the last twelve months. Uh, we have twelve million Invisalign patients, which is not just fantastic for business, but it's also a competitive advantage because in order to do clear line of work. They have to use artificial intelligence in order to move teeth. We don't, you know, sit down with every case and choose where those teeth go. And when you have 12 million cases, um, you know, with thousands of data points in each one, it really allows us to act in a way um, digitally uh, and with data that our competitors simply can't. Uh, of course, we do work through doctors. So we have, uh, you know, over 200,000 trained doctors on our platform. And uh, 
I believe we're up to, as this slide was created last month and things moved so quickly here, I think we're up to 22 or 23,000 employees worldwide. Uh, but we are growing and we want you guys to be a part of that growth. We go to the uh, next slide. So I won't take too much time on this, but here's some of the technology that has allowed us to be, you know, the industry leader. Uh, we uniquely partner with doctors that allows us to have much better clinical outcomes. Uh, something interesting for system displacement, I'll explain it very simply. With wires and brackets, you can only do one thing. You can pull the teeth in. Uh, with our clear liners, you can move the teeth in every which way. And of course, you don't have to be a dentist or an orthodontist to see uh, how that could be a much better um, system and lead to better clinical outcomes. Of course, our scanner, clean check, um, and of course, our customer experience is part of the reason people love us as well. If you want to go to the next slide? So um, this is something that, like I said at the beginning, we truly believe in. Um, I'm on the phone all day with people who have had Invisalign, right? Whether I'm interviewing them or it's just people I've met at the grocery store. Some of you in this uh, chat may have had Invisalign. Shout out if you have. Um, it's a night and day difference. The impact that it makes on people's lives, the confidence it gives them. And to hear these experiences lets me know that Yes, I love my job, I love my manager, and I love my team, but at the end of the day, our product is really affecting people's lives, and it's a big reason why we show up to work. Go to the uh, next slide. All right, so this is our ExoCAD um, software. Um, this is where it is being used. Um, one of the great things about our presence here is that you'll notice, of course, um, it's being used in the U.S., but it's also being used in other countries, particularly underdeveloped countries in Asia um, and, and some in Africa. And I want to point this out. We'll come back to this. Uh, people really need dental health, right? And they need great orthodontics, but people live in areas where they just simply don't have access to that, right? Wires and brackets and traditional orthodontics requires that you be near a major metropolitan area. Um, because not only do you have to go in for the original doctor's appointment, but you got to be there every three, four weeks. But people who live in impoverished areas, they simply don't have access to that. By changing the way that we go about this, we're changing the way in which people in the world interact with orthodontics and dentistry. Um, so people in you know impoverished areas who simply they, they can't get to a major metropolitan hub every you know month in order to get their brackets tightened are now able to get them shipped to their small towns, their villages. Um, and allowed to get treatment, and in many cases, medically necessary treatment uh, through our platform. So that's what's really exciting about this map is it's showing that our digital stretch is allowing us to penetrate markets and improve health where traditional um, methods just simply wouldn't work. We go to the uh, next slide. All right, just a little bit more data on some of the impact we've had. Uh, you know, we're a very well-known brand. I don't know a lot of medical device companies that have 15 million fans on social media. Um, those tip replacement uh, companies don't get that kind of fanfare, uh, but we do. And it's one of the reasons people really love us. Of course, Smile Assessments is a great marketing tool as well, partnering with those doctors, um, you know, making it a financially viable endeavor for them. Uh, and then our website as well. If you want to move to the next slide. Uh, part of our... our you know, our goal is obviously to allow treatment for everyone. Uh, we do this with price reductions and constantly, um, you know, penetrating markets where they haven't been there. So it's not just about going around the customers that are, have already been out there, but really bringing dental health to unpenetrated markets. Um, if you want to go to the next slide. We want to talk about our corporate values, um, agility, customer, and accountability. I want to really focus on that first one, though, agility, because I think it's a reason that people really love working there, or maybe, honestly, it's not the right place for you. Uh, here at Align, we are, like I said, a $4 billion in revenue company. However, we feel like a startup day to day. Uh, things move quickly. Uh, one of the reasons when you apply these internships, we're not going to have your exact project listed is because there is no way for us to know exactly what you're going to be working on in 2023 summer. This company moves way too fast, um, but we do know general ideas of what you're going to be working on. And so we like people who can, um, you know, quickly adapt to changing markets. Uh, we're in the medical 
uh, device industry, which is a very fast paced market. And we're in the technology sector as well. So if we can't move quickly, if we can't change plans, if we can't adapt, and if our, if our employees don't hold those values, uh, we simply won't survive. Um, and because we do have agility and it is something that we value, we don't just survive, we thrive. And it's something that we want to continue doing. Customer, of course, everything we do here is about our customer. Customer centric uh, perspective doesn't just mean your customers that are using Invisalign, it means all that you serve, right? So, um, you know, whether that's when you're working here, your, your managers, your directors, your presentations, or in fact, the customer, our clients, our partner vendors themselves. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's really about having that selfless mentality. And then, of course, accountability, right? Um, we hold ourselves to high account, social responsibility, sustainability, um, and then internally as employees. And it's something we really value, and it's our customers hold us accountable as well. So it's something we want to be preemptive about. We could go to the next slide. All right, so this is a very, very fun map. For those of you with an interest in joining a global company with global reach, uh, and maybe even going overseas um uh you know as a as a as an expatriate it would be a fantastic company to join right so looking at our breakdown we have three major headquarters here in the united states we have san jose we have tempe arizona and we have raleigh north carolina um we have a major manufacturing plant that just opened in juarez mexico it's absolutely state-of-the-art um when we talk about accountability that was something we took a lot of pride in was bringing this you know, thousands and thousands of very high paying jobs to this area, um, you know, worked with the government out there. Um, and ultimately, it is a state of the art facility. It's up and running. And we're really, really proud of it. Uh, we have a headquarters for LATAM over in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, we work with that team all the time. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, moving over to Europe, ExoCAD is developed over in Israel. Uh, so we have a heavy presence there. They run a lot of our, uh, our digital platform. Uh, functions. It's also developed over in Poland and Germany as well. So, you know, over in that area, a lot of our digital platform is created, but we have a lot of other functions and we have a high market penetration in those areas as well. Something that's really exciting about our company is our move, not just into Latin America, uh, not just into Africa. And of course, we've been in Europe for quite some time, but, but Asia, right? And that is a huge focus of us going forward. Um, you know, the so far it has been um, a really great success, uh, but the market is severely underpenetrated. And when we start talking about people without access to dental health tools, uh, it's particularly true in some of those rural areas of Asia. So really excited about the traction we've gotten there, but it's going to be a focus going forward. I suspect that <laughs> some of you will be working on international projects of some degree, whether it's marketing or not. Um, in those summer 2023 internships. Um, and then of course we have a, uh, a headquarters over in Shanghai. We have one in Japan as well in Singapore. I believe we have a headquarters for APAC over there. So we are a worldwide company. Uh, we're just getting started. Uh, the sky is the limit on this, but this map really excites me because there's so many opportunities there for you who, who maybe don't wanna stay in the United States um, you know, as a career. Next slide. All right, corporate and social responsibility. I uh, mentioned this earlier, but something very important to us here. Um, the first thing is employee experience, right? So how do we create a diverse and inclusive um, workplace? Well, one, it's the culture, right? We, we hire people uh, that love what they do uh, and love their coworkers, right? But how do, we, how do we focus on diversity and equity and inclusion? Uh, well, we do that externally uh, through diversity organizations, things of that nature. We also have internal programs uh, such as REACH, uh, which helps diverse colleagues who are already here, um, you know, move their career forward, meet with leaders, uh, and have those career paths laid out. Uh, we also have Women in Align as an organization. Once again, we get that same um, push. We, we do National Sales Network. Uh, as far as philanthropy, we do Operation Smile. We go, uh, we partner with them. We think we've been partnered now for uh, 2013. Um, and they do something really amazing. They go to countries and they help people with cleft palate issues. Um, it's something that's been near to our CEO's heart for quite some time. And I've actually known about the organization long before I joined the line. And I was really happy to see we partnered with them because they do great work. We also partner with America's Tooth Fairy. Um, I think last year, $2 million. Uh, to help with the operational expenses of dental health and youth in underserved areas in America. Dental health 
very uh, important for overall health, oftentimes neglected in underserved communities. And so partnering with them is something we absolutely love to do. And lastly, sustainability. This is huge, particularly for our engineers on the, on the phone. Uh, this is a conversation that we are constantly having here at Align, is how do we reduce our impact? Ultimately, we do create a product. And our product is, um, you know, it, it's plastic and it is disposable. And that's something that weighs on us. And something that we've done that other companies haven't, um, if you compare our aligners to the other aligners in the industry, they're close to 50% less plastic being used. That was a conscientious decision. Uh, that took quite a lot of investment. Uh, but that decision to do that came from, um, you know, our commitment to sustainability and understanding that we, we have a, a duty to not just the community as far as the people, but also the environment that we find ourselves in as employees. Do you want to go to the next slide? And I believe I just covered a lot of that great information. <laughs> but, uh, all right, people, I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to Leticia. She's going to go over some of our different opportunities here at Align, and then I'll close this out. All right. Awesome. And thank you so much, Austin, for that great information. I'm going to pause real quick. Lots of information. Um, I've seen the chat uh, number kind of go up. So what are we talking about in the chat? Um, did we share our majors? Um, is this information exciting? We're going to kind of get into the meat, right, of, of why, why the info session today? Why are we on your campus? Why are we, um, you know, putting together an info session where we're telling you about our opportunities? Um, you're, you guys go to a great school. You guys are learning some great things. Um, you guys are definitely among the, the best and the brightest, and so we definitely are hiring, right? Um, we have, I think Austin had included some of the links to our, our active and open job postings um, for our bucket recruiting. And so if you've already applied, you don't need to do anything, but if you have, and if you, this is your first time seeing those links, feel free to click through them to kind of see where you best fall. Uh, but Austin, can you share with me what's um, what's happening in the chat? Yeah. Um Yep, uh, not too much. Uh, just a couple of people saying that they were, you know, engineering students, data analytics students. One question did come in asking about if they had graduated in January, or excuse me, in December, would they be eligible uh, for an internship in uh, January? Unfortunately, internships are exclusively there for people who are currently enrolled in a college. However, we do have new grad opportunities. So I'd encourage you to take a look at our website, see if there are any available. If not, connect with myself on LinkedIn, uh, and we can have a separate discussion about what opportunities outside of internships there are available. Uh, another question just came in. Are there any new grad full-time roles for software engineers? Uh, do you have that answer for them, Leticia? Yeah, absolutely. And so I feel like I'm going to let me go ahead and just jump into this, and I feel like I'll be able to answer that question. So um as Austin kind of discussed, we, as a multifaceted company, have many, many legs of our operations, right? And so I'm going to talk to you guys primarily about our um, R&D, engineering, uh, technology, and IT side of the house. Um, those are the um, teams that I primarily support and work with. And so chances are you um, fall under one of those uh, STEM majors and you apply to um, one of our open roles, um, I would be the person uh, kind of reviewing your resume and reaching out to you as far as next steps. And so um, you saw a little bit about iTero, you saw a little bit about ExoCAD. And so, um, you know, how does that kind of play into the bigger role of the roles that we're, we're hiring for? Um, we are definitely hiring for um, interns. And so we are hiring for R&D and engineering interns within our um, R&D and engineering uh groups we have um you know different teams that do different things um i won't read every single line but just know that if you're uh, interested in purely doing our r and d work where you're working in a lab our san jose office which is about 10 minutes from you guys um we're actually completing our brand new lab um, that just got put in a huge facility, a beautiful, beautiful. I'm so excited um, for the teams that get to work on, you know, on our work that's doing the stuff there. Um, they are, our R&D team sits primarily in San Jose, as well as some of our other engineering and data analytics teams. And so um, chances are, if you apply to, or if you fall under one of those roles, you're not gonna necessarily need to relocate uh, to be able to do the work. And you're actually gonna be going somewhere relatively close to home, um, which is cool. And so we have uh, R&D, 
software engineering, data analytics, we have software testing, we have uh, machine learning, AI, um, we have IT, we have cybersecurity, um, and then within technology, we have um, a couple of uh, different groups that are um, working more so kind of on the cloud of things. And so um, reading this here, you see a couple of uh, descriptions of some of the the, uh, the teams and what they do. And then as far as projects, um, some of the projects that our interns worked on last year, um, we're characterizing materials of uh, various aligner parts and using the lab equipment to essentially test those results. Um, what's cool about us is because no one's teeth are the same, right? And we are talking about essentially manufacturing a snowflake. So me needing Invisalign compared to Austin versus the next person, they're going to be completely different. Our, our teeth are completely different. Some people need them for top and bottom. Some people need them just for top or just bottom. And so we are essentially manufacturing snowflakes and we're printing them, right? And so I think uh, the video earlier on mentioned that we are um, the largest, if not if not one, but the largest 3D printing company right here in the US. And that's because everything that we're doing is so, so unique. And so that software is so, so important. It is it is so important to get that scan accurate um, because if, it, if your aligners get printed and they don't fit, well, then you can't use them, right? And then you have to start the process over. And so it is um, definitely unique. Um, at our table, we had a couple of samples of the um, Invisaligns. So, um, you know, I don't know if any of you guys stopped by to actually pick them up and see how, how lightweight and how thin they were. Um, but it's like Austin mentioned, a conscious effort to try to um, make sure that we um, are being responsible um, in, in, in the waste that is being uh, produced. And so as far as opportunities, we are talking about internships today. However, we do have opportunities on these same teams that are looking for um, full-time employees, right? And so if you are graduating or you graduated already, um, I would encourage you all to go on our, our website and, and take a look at different roles. Um, the roles are up in real time, but they change. So you may see, you know, a role uh, today um, and a couple of weeks later, if that gets filled, something else is showing up or simultaneously you refresh this morning, one role was live and another one has come up. And so I would encourage everyone that is beyond the internship level role to take a look at our full-time opportunities and connect with us on LinkedIn and, and go on the different teams, like look at, you know, align as a company, right? And, and depending on your, your major and, and the, the type of work that you're looking to do, um, our managers are, are up there. They're, um, you know, very proud of the work that they do. One of the things that we want to do um, as we move forward is bring some of our leaders in to share information and kind of talk a little bit more in depth about the work that they do, what their backgrounds were, how did they get to the roles that they're in, and, and how does that, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, is their background their story one that you can relate to? And so um, within R&D and engineering, we have these teams, right? And then I'll skip over to the next slide here within tech. Um, oh, this is a, a slide that just got, uh, that should have been uh, wayside. But for information, um, for IT and cybersecurity, that is a huge, thing for us. I mean, if you think about um, how many dental offices, orthodontists that we support, right, and, and the information that is captured from their patient side and, and, and the data that they um, are in the plans that they're putting together, being able to provide them with um, safe software that they're able to use um, and, and protect themselves and protect their patient information. Um, I would argue and say one of our, that our cybersecurity teams are uh, one of the biggest ones aside from R&D and software, um, as far as our needs for internships for this year, for this upcoming year, because of the line of work um, that they're doing and how important it is with all that is going on in the world right now um, with scams and data breach and all of those things. Um, so if anybody has any interest in any of those teams, uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, but I would say the first step is to definitely make sure that you apply. Um, we're going to actually start doing um, interviews mid-October. And so um, be sure to apply in time so that we can make sure that you're, you're considered. And the goal is to make sure that we have 
all of our offers out uh, to our teams um, prior to uh, the end of the year so that you can kind of start your next semester, you know, feeling good about having, you know, secured a summer internship. Awesome. And then uh, last but not least, business internships. Uh, and then we have a little thing on new grads and then we're going to open it up to questions, but business internships, uh, the bucket to which you'll be applying for, and I've, I've put it in the, the, the chat box twice. Um, if you're interested, this spans finance, HR, marketing, operations, and sales. So if you're interested in any of those internships, please do put it in that application portal um, and then just select which one you would be interested in. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't know exactly what project um, you'll be working on. It's too far out to say. What I can say is some of the ones that people have worked on in the past. Um, so, you know, one, whatever project you're working on will have a purpose. We're not just going to, you know, let you play in a sandbox or something. It, it is a business necessity. It will impact uh, and it will be deployed. Um, and then two, you know, we don't do internships for the sake of internships. Uh, we really like to hire these people afterwards. Uh, so that's that's my end goal there. But to give you an idea of what some of the interns did in the past, uh, last year I hired a consumer marketing intern. Um, it was a really fun one. They uh, One of them ended up working with TikTok influencers and Instagram influencers. She loved the project. Uh, it was a big task, uh, but you know, not just negotiating contracts with them, uh, but holding them accountable, kind of being their account manager, if you will, coming up with the creative content, making sure that it's deployed correctly. Uh, we want you to have as much exposure during these internships as possible. Um, and so that means that not only will you be working on real projects, tasks, and impacts to the company, but at the end, you're going to present. Uh, and you're not just going to present to your manager, you're going to present to the VP um, and, and, and you know, probably cross-functionally to other departments because we want you to get that exposure. Another really cool one that we did last year uh, was the sports marketing um, internship. We have, I, I believe we're, we're like one of the premier sponsors of the NFL, if not the premier sponsor. Um, we also have partnerships with the NHL and the NBA, which is great. We get tickets here all the time. In fact, I just got free tickets uh, to a Canes game later next week. Um, and the point is to say that we had an intern who helped out with that. They were in conversations with high-level members uh, from the NFL, negotiating contracts, seeing how we could deploy uh, players, how we could do personalized commercials with them. Um, you know, our CEO even sat down with uh, Roger Goodell right before the Super Bowl this year, uh, and that whole meeting was televised. Uh, so we have these fantastic partnerships, and like I said, our interns were in the thick of it. Um, and then on the you know, non-marketing side, we have ones in business operations. We also do a lot of commercial analytics. So for those of you who are maybe not sales or marketing, um, you know, we had our commercial analytics team. I think we had five of them last year. And uh, they went through, analyzed a bunch of data, and it was used almost exclusively by our sales department and our VPs of sales to inform our market strategy, what doctors we need to go to, what markets we need to penetrate. Um, all that information was, you know, presented to them by interns like yourself last year. And, and so I just, I love that it, they knew the exact impact on the business and it was huge. So please do apply to um, those internships if you're interested. There's many other fun ones that I just didn't wanna uh, you know, crowd up the slide with, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you wanna go to the next slide. <clears throat> so, some of the questions, I believe it's May, uh, I, I connected with you on LinkedIn quite a while ago about the sales associate program. Um, for those of you who don't know what the sales associate program is, it's where we take people with about 10 to 12, uh, excuse me, take people with either zero experience in sales uh, or maybe one to two years max. We pay for them to relocate out to Raleigh, North Carolina. We train them here for 10 to 12 months. And then we deploy them somewhere in the, in the nation um, as a territory manager, a medical device territory manager. The fantastic thing about this program is not just that we are taking you from a college grad to a full-fledged medical device salesperson in 10 months, which I think is awesome, uh, but leaving the program after 10 months, um, your, your baseline uh, on-target commission is like, I think 130 or 140. 
Um, and after just a year and a half after that, you'll be a full-fledged territory manager as if we picked you up from Johnson & Johnson um, with the average salary coming in around like 180. So it's a fantastic program. Uh, you do have to be graduated uh, and you do <laughs> have to uh, want to be in sales. Uh, but this is an opportunity for those of you who are interested. I will make one caveat. I have not posted the newest start date for this. We do hire quarterly for it. Usually class sizes are about 30, um, but I have not posted the new one yet. We're still trying to hammer out a start date. We're thinking probably February, uh, but I'll go ahead um, and let you guys know when that does post. And please do keep an eye out for that being posted. Um, and you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn. May, I, I, I saw you. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I still remember you. I, I've been keeping my eye on you. I'm, as soon as I get the green light to post it, you're gonna be the first person I reach out to. But if for anyone else who's interested, uh, you know, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to myself. It is a fantastic program. We're going to do the next slide. So let's talk about the future of Align. Uh, we can go to the next slide. So to know where we're going, I think we got to know where we came from. And I like this slide because it really shows our investment into technology. Um, we heavily invest in our employees. We make sure to pay them great. Uh, we heavily invest into research and development because we know technology is what made our company exist in the first place, and we never want to lose that competitive advantage. Um, and so this investment in technology is something you can see right here. I'm not going to go through every single one of these advancements. Frankly, some of them are beyond my understanding. I'm not a scientist, <laughs> but they are fantastic. They are the reason that people choose our product time and time and again. Um, and they do allow us a ton of insulation um, from our competitors, right? When you have $4 billion in revenue in one year, you're going to have other people wanting a chunk of that. All of this great technology created by our, in, uh, our, our engineers uh, and our scientists here uh, is, is one of the reasons we're, we're doing so well. Um, we can go to the next slide. So broadly speaking, um, you know, I, I discussed that international expansion key markets, looking at Asia, penetrating Africa. Um, but the fact of the matter is, where there's people, there's teeth. And when there's teeth, they probably need some movement. Uh, and so we are looking to, you know, really focus on this in the coming years. Um, but we're also talking about, um, you know, working with our strategic partners. We partner with doctors. We don't do direct to consumer. That allows us to make sure that our patients are getting quality outcomes. And so really focusing on um, how do we make their practices better? How do we partner with them as business partners? Um, we go to the next slide. All right. Um, and this is the, you know, one last thing about, you know, our innovation. Um, you know, we are a very fast moving company. Um, we want to deliver groundbreaking technology to our customers. Um, and that takes a lot of investment. I, I, I want to stop here and say, when you hear the word investment, everyone thinks spending, right? And if all this company's doing is spending money on, on research and their employees, well, how much do they have left over? Um, we have over a billion dollars in cash, uh, which if you know anything about the medical sector or the technology sector and a high growth market like our company, to have a billion dollars in cash is kind of unheard of for our year over year growth. Um, and it allows us to take our own path, right? During the pandemic in March of 2020, when no one knew up from down, our leadership got on the phone with every employee, and I believe at the time it was some 21,000, and said, listen, we don't know where this is going. Uh, we don't know how this is gonna affect our business. What we do know is you have enough to worry about your family, your health, you don't need to worry about a job. And they promised, and they kept their word, that they wouldn't be laying off anyone. And even our facilities people, who certainly didn't have much to do at that time, were not laid off. Um, and that's the type of thing you can partner with a high growth company, but has the financial securities that we do. Um, and it also allows us to take moves that other people who are over leveraged can't. That's how we continue to deliver innovation. Um, and that's how we continue to deliver for our employees, which are very important. Um, you want to move to the next slide. I, you know, at this point, I really just want to thank everyone for your time. Uh, I would love, and I know Leticia would as well, to hear any questions that you might have. I see a couple here in the box. Um, so, um, yeah, let's switch over to, um, gonna open up the chat. Mm -hmm, certainly. 
Uh, so if I want to apply for a summer internship, when is the appropriate time to start applying? That's a great question. Now, now. Uh, the postings are alive. I'm going to start interviewing people probably starting next, next week. week, but really yeah, getting into the week. flow of it uh, in the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested in summer opportunities, please, please, please do apply as soon as possible. We're excited to have those conversations now. Um, I'll hop on the phone with you after this call. <laughs> well, right. other questions. I'm going to pull up the, uh, they've asked for the links to our. Ah, uh, yes, our LinkedIn. Yeah. I can see that as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that in the chat. Eddie, oh, I apply for an open position so that is a great question. Can you apply to something now if something's not open that's not your your dream job that you've heard about, but you just want to be a part of a line and then transfer over? There is one rule against that, and it's just that you have to be in whatever position you got into for one year before you transfer. Um, so I would be careful about doing that. I also, um, and, and May, we can maybe take this offline. I'll go ahead and ping you my phone number in LinkedIn. Um, but we'll talk about the sales associate program separately. For those others who maybe be in that situation, please just think, you know, if it's not your number one, you're at least going to have to do the job for a year before you would even be eligible for a transfer. I don't encourage that, but it's certainly a conversation we can have over the phone uh, once you apply. I see some questions about graduate level uh, internships. So if you are in graduate school, then the graduate level link that Austin provided, which I think is one of the very first, has both business and engineering combined. So that's where we're collecting all of our graduate level candidates, and then, then they will be um, assigned to us and on the back the back end as far as um, your major and your interest. So that's where you would apply. Um, don't we have, yeah, so for engineering and technology, that would be the graduate level um position that would make more sense for you can we have a link where we can apply for some internships for r&d and r&d is engineering and technology uh, but i couldn't find any graduate level uh i checked the website but couldn't find any graduate level internships the graduate level link uh austin provided right i think at the one o'clock timestamp for you all and then I also direct message that to, uh, is it um, Sharma? Is that the one you're reading? Nope. Uh, it was another, another, are there new grad full-time roles for software engineers? So our full-time positions, um, their needs, the, their, the postings are based off of the needs of the teams. So there are some teams uh, you'd have to just look online and you would have to kind of filter through location and uh title to kind of find so for example we may have a entry-level software engineer role for a raleigh team and not a san jose team right so it might be completely different teams so you'll kind of have to filter and then depending on your interest and where you're located and kind of where you are hoping to stay or venture off to, I think that might kind of help be paint a better picture of current opportunities, but also keep in mind that our full-time opportunities do not follow the same cycle as us. So right now we're posting for summer 2023 internships and we're starting the interview process now. Most teams that post full-time hire needs are usually um, in need of someone now, right? And so if you are still in school, you and you haven't graduated, then you technically don't qualify for that role. Um, so I would encourage um, for you to kind of look a little bit closer to your graduation date, um, as that's going to probably be the most accurate as far as the um, current need at the time. Um, let's see, can we see? Let's see. All right. All right, let's see, let's see more messages. Will there be any full-time marketing roles or training programs specifically for marketing at Align? Awesome. There be any full-time marketing roles or training programs specifically for marketing at Align? So great question. Um, the answer is there will be full-time marketing roles uh, available. I don't know if they're posted right now. Um, a lot of times they, knowing that our interns get released at a certain point, they they have some strategies about going about that. We can, if you apply, we can talk about those offline. When you talk about training programs, 
Um, presumably you're talking about like an SA program, sales associate program, but for marketing, um, we don't have those yet. However, considering the success of the sales associate program, quick plug, our sales associates outperform experienced people with 15 years. After seeing that, our leadership is kind of doubling down on a lot of our training programs. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe something down the road came about outside of the sales program as far as training programs go. But as of right now, the only training program we have is within sales. Okay, thank you. And then um, on the application for the question asking what job function areas we are most interested in, we are able to put multiple areas, right? Or is it just one area that we input? I believe you can put multiple areas of your interest. Um, and then uh, whoever's uh, reviewing your resume on the back end will um, also kind of take that in conjunction. If there's a role that you did not um, highlight, you know, we certainly can uh, bring that to your attention as well. All right. Um, hey, I think that's all of the questions. If anyone wants to. Um, yeah, turn on your mic. Ask us a question. Yeah, uh, we have a little wants. bit of time. We're happy to certainly answer um, any live questions. Um, I do see it looks like some of the questions we've answered as many as we could find in the in the chat here. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Miss Sharma also connecting with me on LinkedIn, sending me a message. Great job. I encourage everyone else on the call to do the same. And May, of course. Like another message. If students have questions. They consider after today's event. What is the best way to contact you? So LinkedIn. Um, yeah, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn would probably be the best way. Um, if not, um, I, I can direct message you over my email. Uh, you can always get in touch with me that way. Um, emails tend to get a little jammed up, so I prefer LinkedIn for these types of communications. Yep, um, just saw a question. How is machine learning and data science uh, interrelated with Alliance uh, Tech Services? Um, I think it's the the meat, right? And, and mm -hmm. behind the the software and, and how we do things, um, the AI, the, the, the technology has to be smart. Um, in order for us to be where we are and continue to keep going further, we have to kind of anticipate a lot of things, right? So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, Analytics, there's a lot of data that um, is reviewed and against how we're doing things internally, how the, the direction that medical device, when we talk about aligners are going and, and trying to figure out, hey, how do we continue to innovate in a way that is on track with technology, right? I think that's one of the biggest things um, biggest challenges the medical device company can face, right, is medical, the medical industry historically is known for being a little bit more um, heavier as far as being slower with technology and, and not being able to keep up. And then here you have um, a company and other companies too, right, that are always at this intersection where we're knee deep in the medical device industry for sure, but technology is what carries us through. And so what that dotted line, or I think what that handoff is indeed is machine learning and data science, right? And of course, engineering, software engineering, I think takes us there. I think on one of the slides that Austin reviewed, um, I said in these past recent years, we've now have apps for patients, right? Mm -hmm. For Invisalign, right? Like the, the, the dentist and the orthodontist have one, but the patients also have one as well, right? Mm -hmm. And so that information and being able to keep it up in real time and, and share, you know, what they see versus um, what the dentist is sharing and, and, and their projections and what's changing over time. Um, all of that is, is technology um, mm -hmm. that helps carry us through. And how do we make everyone's lives easier and keep everyone in the loop simultaneously? Um, so as a, as are, a, um, yeah. I was just going to say as a data point about like the impact of this technology and why we invest so heavily in it, when we started off as Invisalign, basically the social six is what they call them. Your six front teeth is what we did. And doctors everywhere told our inventors and our founders, that's all they'll ever be able to do. Right. Um, that meant that we were able to treat with Invisalign about five years out of the, the original invention, about five, maybe 8% of all cases in which someone had to move teeth. 
that number is now at 75% of all orthodontic patients, now inclusions, class three, class two. Um, and at every stage, people have said, it's impossible for you guys to do that, but we've invested in technology, machine learning, AI, um, and, and we've been able to get it from 5% to 75% um, using plastics that everyone in the industry said would be physically impossible. Um, and that's because of AI, that's because of software, and that's because of our material sciences. Awesome, thank you. Um, what are some ideal positions um, uh, am I a student can uh, apply to? It's gonna depend, right? Like on your interests. I remember at the fair, I was talking to some students about that. Um, your degree is, that degree is broad enough that you can go the technical route or you can go more so on the business side, right? It just, I think um, when you are applying for internships, one question you have to ask yourself is, what, where's, where do my interests lie, right? Because um, I think that's gonna help kind of guide you on a path. I mean, we have MIS students that are in technical coding roles, right? Um, are on the IT side or are on the HR side working with um, our HR systems. It just depends, right? Like on where do you see yourself or like what inspires you and what kind of excites you? So I think I, I would pose that question back to you and, and, and ask you, well, what are you passionate about? What do you enjoy doing? Because I feel like how you answer those questions are gonna help determine what roles and how you can use your, your degree. So I hope that helps. Um, does graduate level internships include the opening for both spring 2023 and summer 2023? Okay, yeah, so let me clarify. So internships for us are during the summertime, right? We have co-op positions, right? We have co-op roles. Um, we don't have too many, but we do have a few that would be considered, I guess, the spring of 2023, meaning they would start um, in January, our co-op positions are six months, right? So that would mean um, it's full time, and you have to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, kind of work with your your um, advisor to make sure that that actually makes sense for you. Um, but you know, essentially, you would be a full time employee for that semester instead of being a student. Um, but I think what's probably most common and what you guys may most likely be interested in is the summer internships that go from anywhere from 10 to 15 weeks, and they start uh, towards the end of uh, May, mid-May and May, and they go until about mid-August. Um, so those, that's our, our paid internships. Um, pertaining to May's question for the hiring process, is that handled by one or multiple departments? I ask because if we apply to multiple positions, it may be useful to know if they're going to come back individually or all at once. So because there's only three positions, mm -hmm. essentially three open roles that you could apply for, you are either going, depending on your major, right? You know, so for the technical side, most likely you need to have a technical degree, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you are applying to, if you're technical, but want to be on the business side, not a problem, but you probably are going to want to kind of decide where you want to be. Um, I can think that's going to help you move through the process a lot quicker. Um, because once you apply to one role, there are multiple teams that you could actually qualify for. And so once you apply, once you qualify for multiple teams and the conversation happens with a recruiter and you're able to kind of pinpoint maybe your, your top two or your top three choices, then your information is shared with those hiring teams. And once the hiring teams ex express interest, then your interview process starts with um, that particular team or those particular teams. So, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with applying to multiple roles, but the way that the positions are posted and designed, it's to help to kind of um, eliminate you kind of being in the dark for, you know, one side of the house versus the other. Um, and so, because depending on your interest in your, your majors, whatever role you apply to has multiple doors in it that might make more sense for you. How and when did you guys start at Align? Did you guys start as interns as well? How have the benefits changed from being at Align so far? Um, so I did not come in as a um, 
in turn, I'm, I'm flattered. I'm actually uh, midway through my career. And so um, I've been with the line for about a year now and um, actually came in to specifically help our early careers and campus recruiting team. Um, that's what my, that's where my experience is. That's what I've been doing with other companies that I've supported. And so um, in a line growing, right? Um, there has been a, a, un, a overarching need and a realization that we need to really kind of put together a centralized program. Um, our teams had been running siloed internships prior to this year. And so um, Austin, myself, and another one of my peers and a, um, a couple of our program managers are actually putting the teams together and making sure that um, all that come in through the internship or the co-op title are having the same experience and are getting the same information. And so I got here to really kind of help get that off the ground. Um, joined Austin who already had been running our um, sales associate program. So I'll let him talk a little bit about how long he's been here and what he's been doing. Yeah, Great question. Um, been here coming up on two years. Uh, absolutely love it. Love my team, love my manager, all that great stuff. Um, and yeah, originally was in sales recruitment, started off in um, in experienced hiring, you know, hiring people 20, 30 years of experience, and then found out about the SA program, uh, started running with it and fell in love with early in career. Um, you know, people at your guys' place in life at such a you know transformational time. Um, and I just love the energy. So ended up coming over here full time. Uh, we brought on Letitia for her expertise in this industry. She's been doing it quite some time at um, you know, very successful large corporations prior to this. Um, and this is our our real first run with this format. It's really exciting. Um, you know, here at Align Leadership has really taken an interest in interns. Um, because they see the impact that they have. Uh, you know, everyone in leadership uh, from the top down believes in our internship programs. Um, you know, just this year, we're almost doubling it. Um, and I suspect that that trend will continue in the years to come as we reorientate our workforce towards a, um, you know, almost a, a, a less experienced level. And I think that that's a, that's a better thing in a lot of ways. Awesome. Um... I think that's it. I think those are all of the questions. Um, feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn. Um, and we will certainly look forward to uh, taking you all through the interview process. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have our San Jose office, um, which is our kind of like West Coast headquarters. And um, a good bit of the internship roles that we're hiring for are going to actually sit in San Jose. So if you're someone who is looking for an internship that is local to you where you don't have to necessarily pick up and relocate for the summer, uh, depending on your major and the work that you do, um, this might be a great opportunity for you. Um, however, we do have uh, Tempe, which is our Phoenix area, as well as Raleigh, North Carolina, um, that have some needs as well. And so, um, yeah, be open to different opportunities and um, you know, I'm sure your career center has done a great job with working with you as far as highlighting your interest and experience on your resume. So we look forward to reviewing that information and, and reaching out to you all. Uh, as a reminder, we are going to start reviewing resumes in the, in the coming week or two and then have uh, interview days set up for mid to late October. So that is our timeline as far as kind of what the next steps are. And then um, we, uh, our goal is to have offers out before Thanksgiving so that you can kind of go into the holiday season, finals and all of that, you know, and kind of uh, be secured as far as like what you'll be doing in your, um, your upcoming summer. So, awesome. Charlotte, Patrick, did we miss anything? Any other information you need from us? Uh, no, everything is great so far. Um, students, we did drop in the chat a survey. So if you can fill out that survey, that is more for the Career Center so we can continue holding events such as this one um, and get your feedback. That would be great. Um, if you have any questions, please drop it in the chat or you can unmute yourself though right now if there are Career Center specific questions or um, questions for Align. All right, cool. Getting some thank yous in the chat. Thank you. All right. 
we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Thank you everyone.